Final Four time. We are two games away from awarding $1,000 from our Rocket Mortgage prize pool. And we got right here a phenomenal matchup. It is Canes taking on Rage. Appreciate all you guys hanging out with us for Friday Night Football number 36. Presented by Mudhead. Sponsored by our new friends, a new part of the family. Rocket Mortgage as Bo Jackson rockets into the end zone for the first touchdown of the game. Rage goes on top. Six to nothing, guys. Uh, Rocket Mortgage, absolutely phenomenal. So happy that they are on board. Uh, they know that a home is so much more than a house. It's your battle station, your escape, your place to play. And for over 30 years, Rocket Mortgage has been a proud part of helping Americans make their dream house a dream home with personalized home buying and refinancing options. Even if you're just starting to think about getting a house, uh, if you're you know when you're going to get one and you're looking for some help, Check out Rocket Mortgage. They make it so easy. They are a tech-first company that is making mortgages easier to get for the new generation. Rocket Mortgage, push button, get mortgage, NMLS ID number 3030. Appreciate Rocket Mortgage helping put on Friday Night Football. Nick Mazesco and Zan along with you. We just saw Rage able to get into the end zone. Now Canes comes out on offense, and boy, how impressive has Canes been with this Saquon Barkley running back? Looks very good running this I-form uh, kind of a tight, some I-form wing mixing in some bunch. You see right there, I think he's got the nasty streak, Lane Johnson. Don't be surprised to see him go out to tight end at some point. See if maybe he can pancake a few guys for you. As Barkley able to pick up the first down over the right side to the 43-yard line. Dr. Funtime says, looking for my first giveaway win, Dion would be a great first win. That, that would be an awesome uh, first win to get that Dion Sanders. We got more of those to give away. We're going to give away one in our Kahuna giveaway at the end of the broadcast. So make sure you stick around for that. First down to 10 for Canes. Shotgun formation. Aaron Rodgers going to hand it off to Zaquan Barkley, trying to get over the left side. Good run defense from Rage. Able to collapse that left side and drop Barkley for a loss of two. Very good defense. You saw a lot of players that have been running the uh, the sweep, that sweep run against the big dime one four six. We saw that pop earlier in the year, but uh, over the last couple of weeks, we've been seeing that that one four six has been doing a good job of pursuing that run from behind. Uh, we'll see if that stays a constant here for Rage. Now, Rage is a player that had a really strong start to the year, kind of went MIA the last month. Now popping his head back up here in the final four of this tournament. On that note, guys, uh, Nick had said earlier, two games away. We are two rounds away. We're actually going to give you a third game, a little bit of free football here on Friday Night Football. We're going to stagger these second or these uh, semifinal matchups for you. So we'll get to the joke versus BG fam game after this one. And what that's actually going to do is that's going to give both sets of players chance to scout. So you know that joke and BG fam are watching right now. Handoff on third and two, right up the middle, trying to find some room. Saquon Barkley, he'll pick up the first down, showing off a little bit of that power, able to fight through the tackle on the 33-yard line, 251, and counting in the first half. Appreciate all you guys who's been hanging out with us all night long since we kicked off back at 8 o'clock Eastern time. You guys have been awesome. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. Happy weekend to everyone out there. Full slate of college and NFL football coming off, and what a way to kick it off then with Friday Night Football number 36. First down and 10, handoff. Barkley up the middle. Good defense. Stop for only a gain of two. Going to bring up a second and eight. Good run defense. Three, four odd here from Sewing Bloom, a.k.a. Rage. If you guys have seen that gamer tag on the leaderboards, mm -hmm. that is Rage. Um, looking at his safety choice, he's got Adams, I'm assuming, with Enforcer. But then he's got that Megatron item, that uh, free safety Calvin Johnson. Of course, one of the favorites every single year he was in the league, uh, that Christmas promo with all those out-of-position players. Always one of the better users in the game. Third and seven, handoff, Barkley right side. Big hole, makes the man miss into open space. Ah, Saquon into the end zone. Touchdown for Canes. The response to Rage's early touchdown as the extra point is up. It is good. 7-7 seven, seven with the third, 132 to go in the first half. At Rocket Mortgage, we get that a home is more than a house. It's your escape, your fortress, your arena. So we'll be here when you need us, handling house so you can do home. Rocket Mortgage, official mortgage lender of eSports. As we are back live, 7-7 the score. 
Boy, uh, it, it felt like maybe right there in round number three, we got a little bit of a break. Uh, we saw Joke and Scheming with a close game, but the rest of them eh, pretty out of hand early. I think that was just to let Zan and I catch our breath uh, because as we get to the final four, <laughs> these games are going to get even more competitive than we've already seen. Okay, so this right here, this is a Playbook GG special here on defense by Canes. This is the uh, Buck SS3, where if you run that stretch to the right side of the formation, you're going to get that safety blowing up the run, whereas he's going to take the run to the left side. This is a meta defense for this formation that we popularized on the website. Again, guys, trying not to plug too hard, but we also put out an offense out of the New Orleans Saints single back wing stack today as well that does a better job of uh moving the ball through the air when you go up against a defense just like this so we'll see how rage answers this is a really good defense for this formation river steps left quick throw finds grant underneath but not a whole lot there to the 37 yard line gets it back to a third and 10 uh and our says no kidding if i want a Deion sanders i'm gonna refinance my home with rocket mortgage love it love supporting rocket mortgage <laughs> Now, I'll tell you what, guys. It, it it's so it's so awesome to see you guys uh, supporting. I mean, even if you're not in the market for a new home or you're not thinking about it right now, you will be. Uh, and even if even if that's not the case for you, still make sure you guys let Rocket Mortgage know that you appreciate them coming into esports. Uh, as Bugs talked about last week, I believe they're linked up with 100 Thieves. I think that's Nade Shots Org. Uh, they're really getting into esports hard. So um, you know, let them know that you appreciate that they've come into the competitive Madden community and have helped push this community for just a little bit more and uh we really do appreciate what they're doing for this community absolutely phenomenal summers one ass in and nick my xbox broke today should i get another xbox or switch to ps4 uh if you want to play friday night football stay on the xbox because that's where all of our tournaments are there you go uh caxter 38 said am i the only one that thought rockets was the owner of rocket mortgage it's rocket mortgage <laughs> it's not rockets mortgage yeah, that's. I, I thought about that too when we uh, secured that sponsorship. I was like, Rockets, Rocket Mortgage. You, you just got yourself a free house, didn't you, Rockets? That's I how he did it. Uh, seven, seven. The score. Keynes gets the stop defensively and has the ball. Twenty three seconds remaining in the first half, but looks like he's gonna let this run down. Hands it to Barkley. Tries to find some room left side. Looks like both these guys pretty comfortable heading to halftime with a seven, seven score. Lover of Troops says, I hope Priest Holmes is in the game. Timeout taken, by the way. Uh, oh, late that timeout. would be such a good card. Oh, man. The, those Priest Holmes years were so fun. Um, man, that dude was do it all. If you had him in fantasy football, he was a one-man win every week for you. Uh, Izzy H7 says, Rocket Mortgage got naming rights to the Cavs Arena. As Barkley's in open space, did he just get a home run hitter for 89 yards? Can anyone catch him? Adam's trying to run him down. Oh, smart Good. play by Ames. Didn't know if he'd get there. He dives out of bounds. How about the big run from Saquon as Keynes will attempt a field goal from the right hash mark? Such good situational awareness. Did he miss this? Nope, he just, nope. just he tucks it inside. Pretty pretty forgiving meter right there. He missed. It looked like he missed that one wide left, but great game management by Keynes right there to dive out of bounds. Uh, you see the difference right there between maybe the uh, Huncho Hodges game management and a, and a longtime veteran like Keynes. Uh, shout out to Jay Rizzi in 1988 with four months of subscribing. So, uh, is that uh, uh, Rocket Mortgage got in the naming rights to the uh, Cavs Arena? Yeah, that's because Dan Gilbert owns the Cavs. So, uh, he gave his, his own company a little bit of, a little bit of love. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> what it used to, it used to be it was the Q Quick and Loans Arena, but with the uh, rebranding of Rocket Mortgage, it's now going to be Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Okay. Dan Gilbert. Yeah, that's uh... and Anganar with a great point. He says, "In all seriousness, I own an insurance agency and deal with Rocket Mortgage often. They truly are wicked easy for people to get mortgages in the industry. That can be a daunting task for many." Uh, and I 100% agree. As somebody who who went through the home buying process, they really do explain everything. They make it very easy. Uh, it can be daunting, but they uh, really do a great job of explaining the entire process. So, uh, big shout out to Rocket Mortgage coming on board. Yeah. Ultimately, at the end of the day, when you buy a house, you want to focus on the cool stuff. I mean, you you know, you want to build your man cave. You want to, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you want to, you know, get all get all your stuff moved in and focus on what it's going to look like, how you're going to set up your your feng shui, you know, all that. You don't want to be focused. You know, on that's the paperwork me. And I all love that the stuff. feng shui. That's uh that comes <laughs> that comes with the sweet and sour pork, right? Is that yes? 
<laughs> and some Miswa salad too. <laughs> oh, Miswa salad. Uh, this is final four action. Somebody asked, is this the finals? No, this is final four action. First of our final four games, Kane's taking on Rage 10 7. Kane's on top. Rage with the ball, though. A, a late field goal by, uh, by Kane's, though. A great play. Saquon gets into open space, and here's Bo Jackson in open space. Oh, Can he, just he ran be away. caught? Oh, Bo knows. Can Trufant run him down? No, he cannot. Bo knows, and Bo goes. Touchdown for Rage. So you saw right there, uh, I think Keynes is like, whoa, what just happened right there? You had to check out which bow that was he was facing. Simple throw out to the flat. There was a, uh, a rally down cloud flat defender, but he spins back to the inside and just outruns the rest of the defense. Now he was in the 3-4 bear, so stacking everyone across the line, there's less players at that second and third level of the defense. And uh, that's great identification right there by Rage. Just, just get the ball out and make a play. And guys, in case you missed it, uh, are the newest legends. We revealed them earlier at 8 o'clock Eastern time. Larry Little, 91 overall right guard. And, of course, the Baltimore Ravens legend, Ed Reed, 91 overall. And, like, everybody pretty pumped about that Ed Reed card. Uh, one of the legends being released tomorrow. Pretty pumped with the legends choice this week. I, I was happy with them last week, too, with Erlocker, But I think everyone could get behind Ed Reed. I mean, again, you can play him at free safety if you want. He is listed as a strong safety in ultimate team. I know a lot of us remember him to be a, a free safety, but uh, don't be afraid to kick him to the uh, free safety position. Start him in strong safety position so you can get your chemistries. But uh, yeah, move him to that free safety position once the game starts. Second and eight now I'd for Kane. Yeah. Play action pass. Looking to throw it. Looks over the top. Oh, Moss, good defense on the right side. That was looked like a pretty predetermined read there, Zan. Pressure coming off the outside. Had to get rid of it quickly. Corner route was wide open for a touchdown right there, but a panic read to, to Moss. You see right there, that's the new Ramsey going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Randy Candy out there. So uh, see what that Ramsey will do with you. Saquon up the middle, picks up two, 15 carries, 174 and a touchdown. And now you're looking with uh, Rage in the ball to start the second half and scoring that touchdown. How big was that field goal by Keynes? He's going to need to pick up five yards here on fourth and five to not dig himself into a bigger hole. Bunch formation to the right side. Moss alone on the left side. Rodgers dropping back on fourth and five. Looks to the wheel route. That's Saquon. How about 10 yards and another first down? I'll tell you what, right there, if you're Rage, I think you're cool with giving up the first down because I'm not so sure that he was going to be able to make a play on that post if Kane saw that. No center fielder there, played a little bit shallow on fourth down and short. I think he might have had him over the top. So uh, you'll you'll just think you're lucky stars he threw the check down and it's not a touchdown instead. First and 10, stretch run for Barkley trying to get around the outside. But I don't know, I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just... Uh, a little bit of, of selection bias, a little bit of watching these games. It feels like, though, the stretch run has kind of gotten figured out. You're seeing more success up the middle on some nice cutbacks, but the stretch run, people are finding that run defense here as we're getting towards club championships. Yeah, the biggest tournament of the year. You got that 700K on the line. If you're going to figure it out, it's got to be now. So you're seeing the players are starting to, to really lock down. I mean, we started the year off with – 20 carries for 285 yards with Zeke Elliott, a million arm bars. Then we figured out how to slow down the arm bar. Now the actual stopping of the stretch scheme along with it is starting to come along. Uh, we all saw this coming. This is a natural ebb and flow of, of how competitive Madden goes every single oh, ball's year. Out. Ball's out, and Taylor picks it up, and he's going to walk into the end zone. LT with a scoop and score, and a disastrous play for Keynes as Rodgers puts the pigskin on the ground. And just like that, Taylor puts Rage up by two scores. Big sack fumble right there. LT picks it up back to the crib. Keynes is in an offense that's more of a uh, ball control, run the ball. He's paying the cap to Saquon Barkley. Being down two possessions with only about six and a half minutes to go, that's not a spot he can afford to be in here. He needs a big, quick strike right here. Still a ball game, though, as there's plenty of time. Buck 28 to go in the third quarter. But I guess he probably a, a more a, a quicker score than I think Keynes wants to uh, with uh, this offense. He hands it off to Barkley, runs right up the middle, two yards. That ain't going to do it. You saw right there, Keynes had uh, reservations to go outside on the power row, but he saw his light flash for, before his eyes. That enforcer, Jamal Adams, uh, caused him to run back to the inside quickly right there. Oh, nice shed right there on the right side by Smith, able to bring down Barkley. And so now all of a sudden, third and eight. 
Four canes. He's going to come out with gun punch. Three to the left side, one over to the right side. Look at Adams come down in the box. Let's see what he decides to do. He's going to bring everyone down in the box, try to help that user over the top. Rogers hands it to Barkley, trying to get outside. One man to beat. Nice little juke move, but help on the inside. And boy, Rage playing some great defense right now, forcing Canes into a fourth and seven. He didn't make the tackle, but credit that entire defensive stop right there to Jalen Ramsey right there. A physical corner. Didn't have to make the play right there, just spitting off that block. Rodgers on fourth and seven, looking to pick it up. Looks to the left side. Driver comes down but can't make the catch. A big play on playing the receiver. And Donald Driver, sure-handed for Brett Favre all those years. Not sure-handed for Canes as Rage forces a turnover on downs as in field goal range. It's so hard to say GG's when Canes is the guy on the other side but it just doesn't feel there. There's that buck SS three right there. You see just how good it is as a run defense. Uh, but he finds himself down by two possessions after that fumble six, not the spot he wants to be in whatsoever. As you guys can put your fours up in the chat, five minutes away from our first final game competitor. Looks like it's going to be rage. If something doesn't change quickly. 21, 10, Bo Jackson spins back inside, picks up four. And guys, remember, we got three more of those Deion Sanders to give away. We're going to give away one uh, in the the rest of the games, and then we have our Kahuna giveaway at the end. So you don't want to go anywhere. Make sure you're active in the chat. You're following the channel. You're a positive force for good, and you'll be entered to win those Deion Sanders giveaways. Third and 10 for Rage. 21 to 10, the score. He's looking to extend the lead. Look at him using all that clock. A veteran in the Madden community knows how important clock management is. He's going to drop back to pass. That's Phillip Rivers at the helm. Looks to the drag. Possession catch to stay in bounds. Keep that clock running. And he will kick a field goal, it looks like, to extend it to a 14-point lead. Just as well right there if you're rage. Stay in bounds. Keep the clock running. Got a chance to work another 19 seconds off the clock before you kick the uh, field goal. Shout out to Saints fan 39 with the Ooh. sub. So for 11, 11 months, months. Yeah. appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. One away from the big one year. We haven't even been doing Friday Night Football for a year, so we appreciate the support before FNF was ever a thing. Ball is down. The kick is up. It is good. 24 to 10. And you talk about how much this game has shifted, Zan. We were looking at halftime Canes with a 10-7 lead. But since then, it has been all rage, a strip sack, scoop and score and then a stop on fourth down and it's amazing how quickly this game can turn yeah that it's been all rage since that fumble six it, honestly when i watch this game i don't think Keynes has played that poor of a game at all i mean you just no. see how much a fumble six can destroy your hopes of winning this game and uh and, and credit himself. rage i think he's played some great defense Oh, absolutely. He's played phenomenal defense. He's gotten the stops on fourth down when he's needed to. Uh, he's making him, you know, take his check downs, run the football. You see right here, he's still running the ball down 14 because he hasn't been completely confident in his ability to move the ball primarily through the air against this one, four, six. Uh, local Rob in the chat says, good job. Good job, guys. Commentating thumbs up. Appreciate the love. Appreciate all you guys out in the chat. Yes, hanging out absolutely. Hey, Donald uh, Robert also that give one. He did. I also want to give a shout out to uh, MJK. Uh, he says he appreciates all the little tips, man. That's that's a, that's what I'm here for. If you guys can learn something, if one of you guys learned something, I've, I've done my job for the night. I just appreciate hanging out with you guys every Friday night and uh, getting to talk mad and talk the NFL and uh, you know just uh, have a good time every single week. And as always, we want to give a shout out, big shout out to all the guys working with us behind the scenes. Rockets uh, on the duty behind the scenes, helping organize everything. Our producer will make it all this possible. Uh, couldn't do it without the great team here at Mutthead as Kane's trying to stay alive, picks up another first down. But that clock, he's got to be staring at that going, oh boy, I'm in trouble. Yeah, right now, 12 seconds every single time he no huddles or breaks the pock or breaks the huddle. He's going to oh, need something big. That's oh, a start. Woo. Boy, I got to say, man, I, I know there are a lot of people back and forth as to if they like jukebox or whatever, but just the pure juke move animations in this game, I absolutely love. Is he going to get out of bounds? Yes, he That's does. That's a big clock stoppage right there. I was about to say that I was questioning his decision to not go up tempo after the previous play because he would have had the ability to get two plays off before the two-minute warning, but getting out of bounds was huge right there. And Rocket asking, is that the new Saquon? Yeah, I think it is, right? Yeah, 
I would assume it is his previous item wasn't nearly good enough, not even close to being in the conversation of being a, a primary back in salary cap. So yeah, this is the big Saquon. And there's the what pass to the end zone. What a throw to cooks and Canes gets the first score that he needed. Cuts it back as the uh, kick is up. It is good. It's a one score game. Most importantly though, Zan, he was able to make that entire drive without using any one of his three timeouts. That's the biggest thing right there. I mean, if you're, especially if you're going to use the two minute warning, um, you know, you could have used, you could afford to use one as long as you don't hit the two minute warning. Uh, that was great game management. Uh, again, I say it once again, the difference between a guy that we've seen here tonight and Canes, who's playing through a little bit of bad luck right now uh, versus some of the stuff that we saw earlier in tonight's stream was with multiple players. Not, I don't want to just pile, pile on any one particular player. Uh, Deepar816 says, no offense to books, but this is my favorite commentator to do. A perfect mix of load and of loud and crazy and calm and technical. Good job, guys. Appreciate it, Deepar. Appreciate all the guys here at uh, Monday. Yes. We got a great crew of casters yeah the, the whole roster is is great man i i enjoy casting with I, I would i would be a little bit of a liar to say i don't enjoy sliding over into color commentary and letting <laughs> nick do his thing week in and week out it, he makes my job easier he makes everybody's job easier the enthusiasm he brings to the broadcast but uh, i mean absolutely everybody we've ever had on uh, i know that we've had stiff we've got uh of course guru who comes in um you know, we've had Cookie Boy, uh, Boogs. We've had, uh, you know, a lot of great guys. We have plans to bring in more in the future. So, um, you know, you guys are going to get to listen to a lot of guys call Madden, and ultimately, uh, hopefully, we get some guys that can find their way to the MCS oh. booth. And there's Hill around the right side. He'll pick up the first down. That could have been it. Uh, as uh, yeah, a big shout out to local Rob with the Twitch Prime it. sub. Again, guys, if you guys do sub to the channel, it does go right back into the Mutthead Esports program. Um, <laughs> this is not, you know, the the Nick and Zan slush fund by any means with the uh, the subs. You know, this goes wait, right what? back into our players. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> wait what? All right, guys, what? it's going to be Zan the rest of the night. I'm out. Have a great night. <laughs> See ya. He does have one timeout left. I mean, you're going to see another minute and 20 come off the clock at least here, plus time to run the play. So we're talking a punt return or else for, for Canes, assuming he can get off the field right here. Jackson, little juke move, picks up two. It's going to set up a third and five for Rage. And guys, we got uh, uh, the main event ask, who are the legends? Two pretty good ones. Larry Little. And uh, all of a sudden, I'm forgetting Ed Reed. <laughs> How could I forget Ed Reed? Uh, guys, and we do have, we're going to have right here, the other semifinal game, Joe and BG Fam coming up. A little, uh, well, he is able to get the stop, 54 seconds and counting. Uh, and it looks like uh, Kane's going to be able to get the ball back with about 12 seconds left. We've seen some home run hitters, especially with Saquon. Uh, he's going to need one of them coming up as uh, we have that other semifinal uh, they have uh, they're going to be kicking off I think they just kicked off we're gonna take a quick short little break right after this one get all reset we'll show you the other game we'll have more Deion Sanders giveaways and then we're going to have our final for that $1,000 out of the rocket mortgage prize pool so don't miss it we got a ton more action it's been a great night of Friday night football Zan one of the best nights I can remember in terms of just pure game action Oh, dude, that that first round was insane. We literally called Madden nonstop for about an hour and 20 minutes, and every single game was a classic, just back to back to back. It started off with our bounty going right off the board in the first round with Jay Bird in overtime. Uh, I mean, just the, all the other games we had uh, – Blocky and goes was uh, a good game. We didn't even get to see that one. Um, oh, so much. Oh, what a what punt. A punt. Dot. Oh, what a pun. Look at this. Hey, I don't even want to hear it in the chat. You say these competitive players, they never punt. How about that? When they How do, about that? coffin corner, baby. Nine seconds left. Why not give it to Barkley? See what he can do. Uh, he'll pick up uh, uh, about about 10, but that ain't going to matter as we're going to see 